Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate two Cloudmersive PDF connector actions in Powered Automate that can be used to retrieve form fields and values from a PDF and subsequently set them. While I unfortunately don't have a PDF form to demonstrate with, this will still be useful to show for those of you who deal with PDF form documents on a regular basis. To look at these connector actions, let's click Create and set up an instant cloud flow with a manual trigger. I'm not going to trigger my flow in this demonstration, but you'll be able to easily test your flow this way. On the flow diagram page, let's click New Step and grab a form PDF file from our file system. I'll be using a PDF in OneDrive. Next, let's click New Step again and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. We're looking for the Cloudmersive PDF connector with the pink logo. Once we click on that, we'll need to authorize our connection first before we get to the actions list where I currently am. The great thing is we can use any Cloudmersive connector for free up to 800 times per month with a free tier API key, and we can easily get that API key by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Once we reach the actions list, let's start typing get PDF form fields and select that option once it comes up. As the title suggests, this is the action we're going to use to enumerate the form fields available in our selected PDF. All we need to do in this step is enter our file bytes into the first field, and then enter a file name into the second field. Now we will have access to our file's existing form fields as dynamic content further down in our flow. Let's now create another step and once again search for Cloudmersive connectors. Let's again click on the Cloudmersive PDF connector. This time, with our authorization details saved, we'll jump straight to the actions list. From here, we can look for an action called Sets and Fills PDF Form Field Values. Within this action, we can start by entering our PDF file bytes into the Input File Bytes field at the bottom. Then, we can look at our options from the top down. What we can do within this action is both specify and set the details for multiple form objects in our PDF. First, at the top, we can use a dropdown to specify if our form field is a checkbox or not. Below that, we can specify the selected index of a combo box selection by entering dynamic content labeled Field Combo Box Selected Index. When we select this option, Power Automate will instantly wrap our action in an apply to each control to account for each respective combo box object from our original document. Next, we can specify the exact name of the field we are setting by entering dynamic content labeled Field Name. And lastly, for those fields accepting text values, we can parse that input text through the Field Values box. If we have multiple different form objects, we can click Add New Item to duplicate this process we just walked through and set another field. Once again, I don't have a real PDF form to demonstrate with, but hopefully the skeleton of this process will be easy enough to work from. You can now use a free solution to automate PDF form field entry straight through Powered Automate and circumvent dedicated PDF applications in the process. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.